Hey everyone, a quick video on these rear mounted hinges. Um, some people seem to be asking about them. Uh, this is a pretty good example because you can see exactly what's happening. The 16mm um, gudgeon goes through a hole in the gate and the reason we put these in is that you're able to then adjust the top and the bottom up and down. So uh, what does happen over time is gate uh, gates can actually uh, sag uh, or posts can sag over time and the good thing about these is that you can actually readjust the gap so that the hinge gap on the gate is equal because there's nothing worse than having a hinge gap where it's tied at the top and it goes down to 20 at the bottom some people don't seem to mind but it's always better to have a consistent hinge gap in the middle sorry um, gate gap in the middle not hinge gap a um, latch gap in the middle especially this one it's a double gate not so important in a single gate scenario but this one you can actually see um, that uh, this post has moved a little bit so I've just gone and tighten these up which means I can lift the top you know the top and the bottom can move up and down so that's the reason how we install these rear mounted um, rear mounted um, weld on gudgeons and so the female parts actually there's a hole that it obviously goes through there and then you can put these plate gudgeons on your posts and it means that you can adjust them up or down hope that makes sense and um, these are a great option for for um, automatic gates because the arc of this actually brings the whole entire gate actually out as it comes around um, if it was to actually be you know if you were able to put a, a hinge through this thick part of the gate the problem is the hinge would be poking out into you know if, especially if you've got a panel gate you'll have the hinge would be poking through here and obviously interfering with the panel that you have there so these are a really good option to have hope that makes sense um, check us out at strongfencing.co.nz